only on seven. A wild chase caught on tape. And that story tops tonight's 10 at 10. Seven Action News reporter Tara Edwards has more. Police have one man in custody after leading an officer on a dangerous chase that luckily did not turn out worse. All it took were seconds for a dangerous fight to break out between this warrant officer and a man pulled over for a traffic stop. The suspect, six foot four, 350 pounds, pulls the officer into his car, steps on the gas, dragging the officer who struggles to get back on his feet. Take a look how this all began. The officer sees the suspect blowing through a stop sign. At first, things go smoothly. The suspect pulls over. But soon, the situation escalates into violence. The officer was going to place him under arrest. He actually doubled his cuffs up because the guy was so big. Um, attempted to put cuffs on and the guy started to fight it. The chase is on down Van Dyke. In a distance, you see smoke where the suspect's Honda Civic clips another car, driven by a man on his way back from a lunch break. The Honda stuck for a moment, but the vehicle breaks free and the chase is back on. The suspect leads the same officer down side streets, slamming into parked cars. Then he drives into an alley. And the officer gets out. The bad guy puts the car in reverse accelerates and goes towards the officer in the scout car. The officer uh, fires uh, three shots at that point from his duty weapon. The suspect is shot and takes off again, only to come to a stop a short time later on Beach and Stockton on Detroit's west side. That's where the man is taken into custody and rushed to the hospital. Inside his car, they found wads of cash and a lot of drugs. The officer, who now has a back injury, is recovering in the hospital. The suspect is also in the hospital. He will face a list of charges. He also has a drug history down in Florida. At the Warren Police Department, Tara Edwards, 7 Action News.